Today, we are going to learn 10 different uses of the word or the preposition by. Bye. Bye. Let's get straight into number one. We use by in many expressions to say how we do something. For example, you can send something by post, contact somebody by phone, by phone, by email, do something by hand, pay by credit card, by check. For example, you can pay the bill by credit card. You can contact me by phone or by email. But we say pay cash or pay in cash, not usually by cash. We also say that something happens by mistake, by accident, by chance. I gave extra money to the cashier by mistake. She spilled coffee by accident. I went to a party. I met my cousin by chance. Note that we say by chance, by debit card and so on, not by the chance, by a debit card. In these expressions, we use by plus noun without the or a. In the same way, we use by to say how somebody travels by car, by train, by plane, by boat, by ship, by bus, by bike, etc. Also, by road, by rail, by air, by sea. 30 minutes away by bus. Bus? For example, Raj goes to work by train. Many people travel by plane these days, but we say on foot, not by foot. Remember, you cannot use by if you say my car, the train, a taxi, etc. We say by car, but in my car, not by my car by train but on the train not by the train we use in for cars and taxis they didn't come here in their car they came in a taxi we use on for bikes and public transport buses trains etc we traveled on a five o'clock train we say that something is done by somebody or something in passive voice. He was killed by the CIA. The attack was carried out by terrorists. 2020 Tokyo Olympics was watched by millions of people. Bitcoin was invented by Satoshi Nakamoto. Here, compare by and with. The book was written with a pen, not by a pen, which means somebody used a pen to write a book. On the other hand, the book was written by Sarah with a pen means Sarah wrote the book. We say a play by Shakespeare. A comedy by William Shakespeare. A painting by Da Vinci. A novel by Harper Lee, etc. Example, have you read anything by T.S. Eliot? By also means next to or beside. By the door. Stay by the door. Come and sit by me means next to me. Who's that by the window? He is a new student. We also use by to show the difference between two numbers. The gold rate was 4,700 rupees per gram last week. Now it's 4,800. It has increased by 100 rupees. It's Kurt won, but by 190 votes. India have won by 35 runs against England. But they lost by about 70 runs in our team lost by about 72. We can also use by plus a specific time to say not later than that time. Your flight is at 1 p.m. Please reach the airport by 11 a.m. means anytime before 11 a.m. I'll be there by 5 o'clock means I'll be there anytime before 5. By 5 o'clock. <laughs> we also use by to do something alone or without any help. We make sentences like this. By followed by a reflexive pronoun such as myself or yourself. I built a house for my pet dog all by myself means I built it without taking anyone's help. I it. All by myself. He went on a week-long trip all by himself means he went on a trip all alone. Nobody accompanied him. Did it all by myself. We also use an expression called by the by to mean incidentally. It is a phrase that is said before making a comment that is unrelated to the previous topic of conversation. It may also be used when there is a long silence and the speaker wants to ask a new question. For example, by the by, there is a new teacher in the school. By the by, where is your friend? I haven't seen him for a long time. By the by, have we? We use by in expression like swear by to name someone or something to show that 
one promises to do something. I swear by it. I swear by my dad that I did not steal it. I swear by mom. If you know any other expressions with the word by, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, you can watch my other videos like this one, which is about how to talk fluently without using the word very. I'm your English teacher Suresh. Goodbye.